you could tell from the conversation he's a laid back kind of guy and he doesn't do a lot of interviews so i was glad to get his story recorded for posterity just think about it if he had gone to college in indiana and or played for the pacers he'd be regarded as one of the greatest shooters ever to come out of the state he still is actually but a lot more people would know about him or appreciate him if he hadn't crossed state lines and have you ever noticed, by the way, how many more exports Indiana has in the basketball world than imports? Seems we're still the nation's basketball breadbasket. When was the last time Kentucky ever sent us a player? Now, don't forget, Louis Dampier will have his high school jersey number 32, retired at Southport High School on February 1st. And also don't forget that if you missed part of this or any of the other one-on-one -on -one conversations, you can get them all on our website at 1070thefan.com. Click on Shows, click on One-on-One. -on -one, Click on the podcast link, and you can spend hours catching the stories of Indiana sports greats. You can always reach me by email at mark at 1070thefan.com. And I'm a modern kind of guy, so I'm available on Facebook and Twitter. The Twitter handle is at Mark Monteith. I'll be back next week with yet another spine-tingling conversation with an Indiana sports personality right here at 1070 The Fan.